So if you have a real strong tide with shallow water, make a very fat bump there with a real long pork rind, and it'll sink slow. If you, the most productive bucktail, though, is a, a small bucktail on a light, on a light line catches the most fish, but not the most big fish. It catches the most fish. You can use, I use huge bucktails. On the bridges, we have bucktails that are this big. They're that fat. They got the offshore pork rind. This thing is enormous. It's, it's, it's enormous. But big fish, you can, I can stick both my fish down the, the throat of a 50-pound bass without touching the side. So if he can eat that, that's why they eat two-pound porgies. You know, it took 20 years for him to say, oh my God, they ate a two-pound porgy. Well, they eat four-pound blackfish, too. But nobody, years ago when we fished blackfish, everybody fished these little stupid blackfish because you caught a lot of fish. But if you want to catch a 50 or 60-pound bass, try a 17-inch blackfish. I had a 56-pound bass on a 17-inch fluke once. They eat anything. So if, you, if you're going to target big fish, Sometimes you need the biggest bait in the world, and sometimes with plugs. You know when they target little plugs? Sometimes you catch a huge fish on a small plug. Sometimes when they're feeding on small bait, if you throw an enormous plug out, you got a shot. Change the color. Don't do what everyone else is doing if no one's catching fish. If you see everybody doing the same thing, and you should have already said it's time to change this routine. Because there might be no fish there, or there might be a big one that you can catch that nobody thought about because everyone locks in. Years ago, there, in the 80s, there was a huge bite offshore on tuna, and at, at, at the, uh, on yellowfin tuna at the Virginia and, at, and out there. And, and guys were all catching them trolling green machines. They were catching them on green machines because every single boat had a green machine. And I, I find that surf fishermen do that a lot too. You go to a spot, they're all fishing exactly the same lure. Well, if you're catching fish, that may be fine, but some of that fish, if they, you know, big bass, presentation is critical with a really big fish. And anyone who's caught big fish knows that presentation will make the difference between that fish biting your lure and not. Everyone knows who have been next to some successful guy with lure who's really good and he consistently catches big fish because he's learned the art of presentation. He's looking for a certain look. You, like the guys that used to fish the big metal loops on top in calm water where they made that beautiful v wave If you didn't mimic that, you didn't catch those big fish, you'd catch small fish. So there's a, whole, lures, there's a whole world of lures that need presentations that are correct. And big fish are big because they're not stupid. That's how they got big. So you need the presentation to make these fish, you have to fool them. Because if you caught a 60 pound fish, how many, how many people caught that fish before you? Nobody. That's why he's 60 pounds. So he's been around a long time. He's not stupid. Maybe someone released him when he was 10 pounds. But no one released him probably when he was 45 pounds. So he's, it's not intelligence. These big fish are not intelligent as far as logic and reason. They've learned the difference when something's not correct. We've all seen a big fish come up to a lure, stop dead, and not take it. There's something triggered his mind to say, or actually her mind, to say that there's something wrong with that bait. Because it's all their world is natural presentation. So even when you're fishing bait on the beach, presentation is critical. A lot of guys I see they fish enormously long leaders, or they fish too short a leader. If you ever, you should take the time to go in like the bay or your swimming pool and see how your bait lays on the bottom, which is 28 inch or 30 or 40 inch leader versus a 16. Put it in the tide. If your bait's spinning, you're really playing with yourself. You're not going to catch nothing if your bait's spinning. And how will you know that if you don't see? You won't. So there's a lot of homework that goes in with these big fish, but the more time you put in, the better you get at it and you learn.